when summer comes, we go to greater heights, greater lengths, and greater depths to give you a greater vacation. Let AAA Travel help you plan, book, and save on amazing adventures around the globe. No membership necessary. Where can we take you this summer? Welcome back, everybody. The dinner table has long been a place where people come together and build community, but for one Bremerton woman, it also has the power to give freedom. Five years ago, Kelly Welk learned about the realities of sex trafficking, and she wondered what she could do personally. She soon started Freedom Dinners, bringing people together to learn about the problem, with all of the proceeds going to rescue women and children. To date, her Freedom Dinners have raised more than $35,000, and now she wants to help the rest of us to do the same thing. Welcome. This is Thank such an you. amazing thing. Thank you. First of all, what tipped you in terms of awareness that made you start the dinners? Well, I heard about what Rescue Freedom was doing. Which is a nonprofit, Yes, correct? which is a nonprofit. It's based here locally, but they work in 18 different countries around the world. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, I just felt like I had to do more than just give the $20 that was in my wallet. And I thought, well, the one thing I can do is cook dinner. And so I just started inviting friends over for dinner. And they would come and hear about yes. this and then become supporters. And there's something so cool about everybody, you know, sitting down, having a meal together and yeah. hearing about something. It's more, I don't know, more casual. It's, it involves your friends. It yes. involves being very comfortable. So we're looking at some pictures of how you put these together. What was your thought about who to invite and what kind of mood to create? Yes. Well, you know, my main thing is that just inviting people to the table that we all get to bring something. And so I just started inviting friends to like donate stuff from their gardens, give the fish that they had caught that summer, to give flowers from their, you know, what they were growing. Mm -hmm. And that has just invited this massive community of people because, you know, it's kind of, sometimes it's kind of hard just to give them money. It doesn't connect to your heart. Right. But when you're saying, hey, this is what I actually grew or this is the peach cobbler that I made, and you get to bring that to the table, it's so powerful. And so we, you know, it started with just our friends and family that I was inviting to dinner. And it felt a little bit strange because nobody invites you to dinner and says, you also need to pay me money. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk about something that's really yes. tough, but we're going to learn about it and then find out something that we can do in a proactive way Exactly. Together. Well, and that was the part that, you know, when you hear about, like, sex slavery or that, like, 40 million people are... Um, affected by human trafficking, that is so massive and big that it kind of feels like, well, what could I even do about it? You know, I'm a mom from Bremerton, Washington. Um, and that's when I was like, I just have to do what I can do. And I think that's what has caught on with the dinners mm -hmm. is that everyone is just saying, this is what I can do. We can do it. Yeah. We can do so it. So here's one of the Absolutely. things we can do. So you have some recipes that are dynamite that have worked yes. in these situations. Yes. So what would you like me to do? Yes. Am I okay. cutting the grapes? Why don't you have the grapes? Okay. Um, this is one of the recipes. This is from my book, Dinner Changes Everything. Mm -hmm. And I wrote this book because people were asking about the freedom dinners. How do we do them? And so I thought, hey, why don't I just give you some of my recipes? These are the menus we've created that are like seasonal. They're easy to... Um, um, do ahead of time. Um, and so this is one of the ones that um, we serve. And this is a balsamic grape crostini with um, blue cheese. That looks pretty good. So Smells pretty good. What we're doing here is we is that are, enough? yeah, that okay. looks great. Um, we are just mixing this up. You're going to mix up your grapes and shallots mm. and some salt and sugar and balsamic so vinegar. Fresh. Then you pour this all out on your parchment paper. We're gonna pop this in the oven. <laughs> the pretend oven. The that pretend we have. oven. <laughs> Here's what it looks like when it comes out. Yum. Is it's all glazed and lovely. Um, then, when that is in the oven, um, what we do is you just take this is butter and blue cheese and you spread it on your. Ooh on your little crostini. But it's also glue for the topping, right? Exactly. In the so best, most delicious you spread kind of way. that on there. That goes under the broiler. And then it comes out and it looks like this. Like so? Yeah. Beautiful. So let's build these. What you do is you just put a little bit of your grape mixture on top. 
We're gonna put a little bit of the blue cheese crumbles on there. And then, you know, it's always fun when you can top it with something fresh. So here's some fresh thyme from my garden. That's gorgeous. And then they're ready. And um, we always like to greet our guests with an appetizer um, so that they can come, they get to take a bite of something that, you know, was donated from somebody here mm -hmm. in our community. And, you know, they get to look around at the table and see like, this is really powerful what we can do together. Yeah. And they can open up and take it in. Exactly. Tell me a little bit about um, freedom. Rescue, rescue Freedom. Rescue Freedom. Yes. Uh, what it does exactly. So mm -hmm. this is where the money is going. Yes. So we donate all of the proceeds to Rescue Freedom International. They are based here in Kirkland, Washington, mm -hmm. but then they also do work in 18 countries around the world. Um, and so what they do is they come alongside local people, local partners that are doing the work. Um, they're doing outreach centers in the brothels, and then they also run safe homes. And the safe homes are where the women and children get to come right. and live and start fresh. Because you have to have some place to be, right? Exactly. You can't just be freed it's, from a situation and, and then put on just, the street. Yes, because you know they don't have any of the tools or the training. And, you know, Some of these um, women and the children coming out are like babies when they're able to rescue them. And so you know, I got to go to India a couple years ago and meet some of the women and it was so powerful because they are so um emboldened to be trained and mm -hmm. get right back into their community and fix this problem. And so that just so encouraged me to just come back and do what I can do. You know, I can't be on the streets in India or I can't even really come over here to Seattle all the time to do the work that's necessary here, but I can invite people to dinner. So how do we get to emulate this? How do we learn how to do this? Okay, so on my website, ciderpresslane.com, um, I have all sorts of tools to help you. Um, what I do now is I actually get to train other communities how to do this. So if you love to have people over at your house, you can host a dinner. And really all you're doing is inviting your community in. Um, you don't even actually have to know how to cook. You can just <laughs> invite people who do because really you're saying, I have a space, here's right. what I have to offer. And you know, I love hosting people and bringing them in. So it, you know, that part.